open up gramps and try to make some places. I've never used gramps really. I've opened it up a few times. How do you how do you open this thing? Low family tree. Oh, look at all that. That must be the gramps' example tree that came with it because they got Greece and they got USA. Oh, look, they got the right alphabet for Greece. That's nice. Uh, gramps have some nice features in it. I don't use this program. I never have. Why isn't this expanding? As you can see, I don't really use this program. Maybe there's nothing in there. Maybe everything. Maybe all these people lived in Greece. Well, yeah, that. This is a, well, this is Gramps, you know. I mean, I don't know anything about it. it. It should be working really nice. I suppose the Garners and all these people all lived in Greece, but. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to mess up this sample tree. Close the family tree. Let's make a new one. Manage family trees. New make places. And I don't know how to do this. I watched a tutorial on it, but it was an old version of Gramps. And, and I believe that was yesterday or maybe it was today. Probably this morning or half and half. So possibly I won't remember how to do it but that's okay because Gramps is so easy to use and intuitive <laughs> that um, it should just be self-teaching right well I'm just kidding oh I see there's a plus button see we're on people here there's a place for name gender stuff like that let's click on that plus button instead given what's a given and I know what that is in algebra it means a is equal to 64. That's when you get, you know, that's when you turn a corner, according to the Beatles song, anyway. That probably means given name. So let's go Fred. Surname. What if we live in China? Well, never mind. Let's not be too critical here. Wait a minute. That was a prefix, wasn't it? It said so before, but it doesn't say it anymore. I think I remember that same prefix, so let's just without that. Let's put a surname in this big old long one. There's room for all kinds of surnames in there. Let's say Weaver on Fred. Yeah, that might work. You see? Look, it filled in right there. Okay. Tab out of there. Origin. What? I mean like in his first incarnation or the origin of this family name? Inherited or patronymic? Is this genealogy or something else? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it's Gramps. That's how Gramps does things. They got all kinds of details down here. If you look through these fields, you will probably find one where you can actually count the person's nose hairs on any given day of their life and enter it into the database. But we're not going to do that today. Okay, he had a gender, probably male. Let's see. We were planning to put some places in here, and that's what we really want to do. This must be a list of surnames. Yep. There's Fred. What happens if I double-click that? Oh, well, we get that same old thing back again, huh? That's nice. And it lined up just in the same place. That's good. I didn't have to move it back again. What happens if I put a place? Ooh. How can I put a place? Do I have to go like that? I bet I could put a place in like that. All right, let's go back to Google Maps and choose a place. Gardendale is in Ector County, Texas. So let's do that. Gardendale. Uh, now, what are we going to say? Ector County? Is this how you're supposed to do this? I don't know. That's how we do it in Tree Bar. You just put it in. USA. I don't think this is right. Because here we'll be asking, is it a city, a country, a county, a department, blah, 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 blah. What is this even for? It's called jurisdiction. And all these genie wares want us to do it. Oh, we want to say what jurisdiction it is. Let's just say unknown because I'm not planning on using that feature. Not very much. Uh, anyway, I want to find out what happens if I don't use it. Okay, we're going to go forget all that. And we don't care about latitude, longitude right now. I don't know what code means. I don't know what ID means. Okay. There's our place. What happens if you double click it? Then you got all that. Okay. That's the same thing. Now, here's, here's the thing is. Now, how, how do I get Ector County in here? Hmm. 
What if I, what if I highlight this and then go plus? Well, oh look, there's a place that says enclosed by. We call that parent place in tree bark because it's got fewer syllables, sort of. Uh, enclosed by Hector County. No, this is Gardendale. Hmm. Okay, I'm confused. See, in tree bar, you just, like I showed you up here, you just go uh, Gardendale, Hector County, Texas, USA. With, with commas in between them. You don't have to open all these confusing dialogues for each one. But this is, you know, this is Gramps' way of doing stuff, so that's all right. We'll try to figure it out. Now, I'm purposely doing this where I open it up and I try to figure it out, and you get to watch there twiddling your thumb saying, why, why didn't he, he practice first? Well, I didn't want to practice first. I want to show you how easy it is or how not easy it is to use this program, okay? And I say Gramps is one of the few programs that's actually worth uh, making movies about, let's say, okay? Because it's very detailed, and in, in certain cases, they they really do a good job of taking care of the data properly and I think places is probably going to be one of those things where they do a good job with the data for example uh, you want a place to have more than one parent and or enclosing place as they call it Gardendale is closed by Hector County Hector County is enclosed by Texas Texas enclosed by US US enclosed by World, world enclosed by solar system, solar system closed by. I wonder what the jurisdiction is on a solar system and the galaxy. See, this is a jurisdiction over here. I don't think it's going to be Hamlet. Anyway, it's probably not there. So, we wanted to put in Hector County. Okay. Hector County. And it's not enclosed by that, so I guess we'll just say it's not enclosed. So what do I have to do here? Oh no, what happened? Hector County, Hector County isn't enclosed by Gardendale. No, oh, that's backwards. What are we gonna do about this? Jeepers, creepers, ah, oh. ah. Oh. Now, oh, this is going to get confusing fast. Hector County. Oh, what if I don't... What if I just... I'm trying to... I'm trying to unexpand un un this. Oh, like that. I had to click that several times. At least it finally got the message. That's the important thing. Now, let's see. What if I click on nothing? Oh, I don't, I don't want to have anything highlighted because I want to click this plus button and nothing goes in nowhere. What do I do? Oh no. If I open this, it's going to say Gardendale. Oh look, Gardendale is enclosed by Gardendale. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to make a movie about Tree Bard's place, places because Tree Bard, the place dialogue, actually works. And it, you don't have to open up all these different dialogues over and over and try to juggle a bunch of places. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm going to start over with a different place. This is going to make me, this is going to make me frustrated. All right. I give up on Gardendale. Let's try over again. This time we're going to go for the uh, other backwards approach of Starting with the biggest place, Tarzan is in Martin County, Texas. This time we're going to start with the USA. And then we're going to build up from there. Let's see how that goes. Oh, look, it's trying to go into Gardendale. Well, for crying out loud. Close without saving. I don't want to delete Gardendale. I worked hard to make that. Oh, look. How do you make everything reverse itself? Because I did it backwards? Why was I allowed to do it backwards? Oh, Gramps shouldn't let me put things in backwards. Why did that happen? How can I delete this? 
what's this? Cannot delete place. It's referenced by another place. All right, so we're going to go the little place, Hector County, which is inside the big place, Gardendale, because it's all backwards. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to also delete this. Yes. Oh, now we got no places. Now I can click plus without making something inside something else. Uh, it looks like a little bit of a design glitch to me, but when it comes to the GUI, I can't actually recommend Gramps. As you can see, it's not hmm, intuitive for somebody who's never been there before. You got to watch the tutorial or read the help screen, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, one of my main goals with TreeBar is to keep the user working, not looking stuff up and getting on forums and asking questions and how do you do this, how do you do that. This should be intuitive. Now, stuff should just go in, boom, 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 just like that. All right, anyway, okay. Let's not go Tarzan, let's go USA this time. We're inside of USA, we got to put Texas. Oh, oh, wait, what happened? Now, did you see that wasn't highlighted and I clicked on it? Now, how am I supposed to unhighlight it? Huh? I clicked escape. I clicked everything everywhere. I click that. Uh, click that. You see? Now, how am I supposed to unhighlight that? I'd like to unhighlight that, if you please. Jeepers, creepers. Oh, jeez. Anyway, let's click, click the plus. This time we're going to go into USA, maybe, because we're enclosed by USA. See? And there's a comma in front of USA. Okay, so let's say Texas. This is the state of Texas. Now that seems to be working now. Uh, I keep trying to collapse this, because if you collapse this, oh, you double click it and you get another thingamajigger open dialogue. Yeah, I wasn't wanting to do that. I was trying to collapse this. Excuse me. Oh, why is it so? Do you have to say that in a certain tone of voice before it works? Okay, whatever. Oh, now I want to expand it again. Hello? I'd like to expand this, please. Oh, for crying out loud. How do you expand it? Cheapers, creepers. I'm getting frustrated. Ah. Oh. Do I have to do. How'd that happen? What did I do? Did I click this? No. It's just random. Every so often it works. Oh my. Well, whatever. Okay, let's add a place inside Texas. Look, there's a comma in front of Texas and it says enclosed by Texas. County. I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a nested place. Come on. I'm clicking. I want to expand this. How easy it is to make a nested place in Gramps. So I'm going to have a whole series on trying to use Gramps because I think it's going to be fun and we might even learn something about how GenieWare GUI should work if we look at something that has lots and lots of features and lots and lots of capabilities but is a little bit lacking in the GUI area. Gramps is trying to do everything in some cases, as, as far as I can tell. I mean, look at all this stuff over here. Geography, I thought that was a class in school. I was hoping to say Dallas, Republic of Texas. Hopefully, now we want to make a place called the Republic of Texas, which is not enclosed by anything. And earlier I was having a hard time, like, how do I not have something go into something else, like make a, like a regular old place? Tree bar can easily make nested places super easy, because you just, I mean, come on, let's just open it up for just a second, all right? Uh, Tarzan, Martin County, Texas, USA. This is a new and duplicate places dialogue in TreeBart. You notice I typed the whole thing with commas and boom, boom, boom. There it is. It's all there. 
not there yet, but it will be in two seconds. Now it's going to make a new place called Tarzan. It's going to make a new place called Martin County. That's my only choice here, but Texas, or Texas USA is already in there. Okay, so we can just use that. And USA is already in there, so we can just use that. So we're going to go like this and tab out, and, uh, you know, there it is. My next movie, I believe, is going to be all about how to make a dark theme like this. It doesn't shine in your eyes and blind you. End grabs.